We propose a framework for the simulation and control of the human musculoskeletal system. The juggler is driven by volumetric muscles. Active muscles are shown in pink. Previous human skeletal systems have been driven by either torque actuators or motor units simplified to line segments. Our system uses the contraction of volumetric muscles to actuate the skeletal motion. The biceps have two motor units at the short head and long head, which can be actuated independently. FEM simulation of the tetrahedral mesh imitates the contraction of human muscles precisely. Although high-resolution tetrahedral meshes are ideal for the accuracy of FEM simulations, low-resolution handcrafted tetrahedral meshes are also useful for the efficiency of simulating dexterous manipulation tasks. The cascade is the simplest juggling pattern that pitches the balls to the same height. The juggler starts with three balls and adds balls one by one. With more balls, the juggler has to pitch the balls higher to maintain the cascade pattern. Our muscle-driven control system can also simulate other juggling patterns. 6-4 juggling exhibits asymmetric patterns with five balls. The right hand juggles with three balls, while the left hand independently juggles with the other two. Four two three is another non-cascade pattern using three balls. The juggler pitches two balls higher than the third. Our controller adaptively optimizes the swing trajectory to pitch the balls toward the desired direction at the desired speed. Our control system can handle arbitrary patterns, variations in height, mass, shape the projectiles, and even the number of jugglers. This example shows the cascade pattern with three balls of different mass. All three are thrown to the same height regardless of mass difference. The hand pulls back further with the heavy ball to absorb impact and travels longer to compensate for the mass. This side-by-side -side comparison shows that torque actuators react uniformly regardless of the loading mass, while muscle actuators respond in a convincing manner. Our system can simulate the symptoms and outcomes of various muscle disorders. Scaling the cross-section of the tetrahedral mesh simulates atrophy and hypertrophy. The biceps and brachialis in the right arm are initially thin and weak. As the muscles grow, they become stronger to lift the weight. Our muscle model inherits the material property and contraction dynamics of the hill-type model. The force length curve indicates the strength of the muscle. We can simulate muscle deficiency by scaling the curve. As the muscles become weaker, nearby muscles activate more to compensate for the weakness. Our volumetric model offers the flexibility to edit the material property of individual cells. This example demonstrates paralysis spreading progressively over the biceps and brachialis. Deactivated cells shown in black do not generate any contractile force. Contracture is the shortening or stiffening of muscles that results in decreased movements and range of motion. The increased tension of the contracted biceps has the elbow flexed, even though the elbow is fully relaxed. Contracture occurs frequently in patients with cerebral palsy. 
The treatments include orthopedic surgery, which reduces the muscle tension by displacing its insertion. We implement a simple user interface system to simulate this orthopedic surgery. A 2D point on the texture atlas maps to a 3D point on bone. The user can specify the new insertion point on the texture atlas. Our simulation system updates the muscle geometry instantly and reflects the update to the musculoskeletal simulation. Since the surgery increases the range of motion, the elbow becomes fully extended.